That is right. My instructor actually got out the aircraft. That means this is going to be my first solo flight. Welcome, welcome. It's Jedi82 here bringing you this uh, first episode of me soloing. Now this is going to be Apollo 17 for me, 17th hour. And unfortunately, my microphone wire came out of my GoPro <laughs> so conveniently. So what I'm going to be doing is narrating through this best I can. I'm going to be telling you what exactly what I'm doing, what I'm saying on the radios and the comms, and, um, and just go from there. So the solo flight plan today is to take off and land three times uh, and return you back to the ramp safely. So I'm going to taxi up here to the, uh, to the hold short line, make sure it's all nice and clear. And then on the CTAF, I'll, uh, I have to mention I'm a student pilot since I'm soloing. Um, so I'll say Augusta Traffic, uh, student pilot Cessna 757 Uniform Tango is going to be taxiing out runway 18 for southbound departure. Uh, we're running in the pattern. So here I go. And it's going to be left traffic pattern since I'm uh, going to be taxiing south. Now look at that smile. <laughs> oh shoot. I was so nervous and so excited at the same time. Like I couldn't even explain what it felt like. Being without my instructor, though, I felt like I was forgetting something every two seconds, so. Alright, so here we go, full throttle. Please be sure to have your seat and trays in the full upright position with your seat belts fastened. Gonna rotate about 55. <laughs> and for the sake of time, I'll go ahead and speed this thing up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn left crosswind here once I reach about 1,800 feet. There we go, the crosswind leg. And here I am turning down the wind leg, and this is where I would say Augusta Traffic Student Pilot Cessna 757 Uniform Tango is on left down the wind for full start runway run 8, Augusta. So this first land, I'll go ahead and uh, slow this down so I can uh, actually walk through what I'm about to do. So there's a couple of steps you got to do. First of all, you got to be slow enough to land. Obviously, you don't want to be landing it at full <laughs> full speed. So first thing you want to do in a Cessna is you want to pull the car heat out once you're about uh, at the threshold of the runway. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Pull the uh, car heat pull out, and then I'm going to lower the RPM down to. Uh, 1700 rpm which is what I'm doing now as so you heard the engine kind of uh, kind of quiet down a little bit there um, I'm also going to keep the nose up so the airspeed will drop below uh, within the flap range uh, once that's done I'm going to go ahead and apply my first notch of flap just like, which I just did and now I'm going to be going on the base leg and this is where I would say Augusta Traffic Student Pilot Cessna 757 Uniform Tango is on left base for full start, runway 18 Augusta. Now on the base leg, this is where I would lower my second notch of flaps. Then uh, right when I make a good visual for a good lineup for a final, I would say Augusta Traffic, student pilot Cessna 757 Uniform Tango is on final for full start for 1-8 Augusta. And here I am lining myself up here. It's a good lineup, and this is where I put my third and final nocturne flaps. And bring her on in. Now, I don't know if you can tell by the camera, but my angle I, it seemed like I was kind of high so what I did is when I put my third and final notch of flaps down it kind of slowed me down and I was able to put the nose down a little bit at a safer speed so and plus I was trying to impress my flight instructor since he's actually down on the ramp watching me speaking of him he's actually recording me on the on the phone let me go ahead and put that footage in the lower 
lower right of the screen here for you so you can see actually two different shots. And yes, this crosswind was a killer. But it's nothing a Jedi can't handle. flaps up and put the car beat back in and I'll go ahead and speed this up for the sake of time after I clear the runway I would say Augusta traffic student pilot Cessna 757 uniform tango is clear the active 18 Augusta and here I'm gonna go ahead and taxi up here to my flight instructor and get my first uh, critiques funny you asked if I had two more in me. I had about like 10 more in me, maybe 20 more in me. I could do this all day. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit too. And again, I would make the same departure call for the traffic. It's going to be the same pattern, uh, same left pattern, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip that and uh, go right uh, to my final here. So, Again, the same calls, uh, same procedures, put down my third notch flaps. I'm going to try to keep my airspeed in between 16 and 65 knots. judge my landings whether they're really soft or kind of rough by the right visor the sun visor usually if I make a, a rough landing it usually <laughs> usually falls down like that so yes that was a really rough landing so but that was my second one not too bad for the second one third one's a charm gotta nail it for the third one and I'm gonna go ahead and just skip and go right into my third and final takeoff see how this goes.
and again for the sake of time I'm just going to go ahead and skip the pattern and um, go right to final. This is where I try to get everything just perfect. I'm trying to get the smoothest landing, and I think actually when I land, I actually point to the visor, <laughs> saying, "Hey, look! See, it didn't fall. It didn't fall. That was a soft landing." Let's see how this is. So, yep, that was proof. Nice, soft, easy landing. This is where I would make my final call for Augusta Traffic Student Pilot Cessna 757 Uniform Tango is clearly active. Warning, Augusta. I'll go ahead and speed it up here so I can bring you guys back to the hangar. There's this, there's this truck parked right there. I thought I was going to hit his truck with my wing. Wasn't sure, but cleared it. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this special flight of mine, my first solo. If there's any pros out there that's watching, you've seen anything that I could have improved on, please let me know. And next video, I'll try to make sure my comm is, is working. I'll make sure my microphone is kind of like... I don't know, zip tied into my GoPro next time, but oh, well, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys look forward to my next video. Hopefully you'll stick with me all the way to my check ride. Uh, until next time, fly safe.